Hello and welcome. Today, Will and I are secret agent men trying to survive the world of Codenames Duet. Codenames Duet is a game for two to four players designed by Vlada Chavadal and Scott Eaton and published by Czech Games Edition. It is an adaptation of the popular party game Codenames designed specifically for two players. In Duet, the players are covert operatives whose goal is to try and contact all of the secret agents while avoiding the assassins before time runs out. As in regular Codenames, the game board is comprised of 25 randomly selected word cards assembled into a 5x5 five five grid. The key card is set up between the players so they can only see one side. Each side shows the locations of some of the agents, bystanders, and assassins. In a standard game, nine of the timer tokens are set near the board bystander side up. To play the game, players take turns giving one clue at a time, with the intention of getting their partners to guess the correct location of agents on the grid as dictated by their side of the key card. A clue is comprised of a single word, which is related to one or more of the word cards, and then the number of word cards that that clue pertains to. Once the clue is given, then the guesser makes their guesses. If they correctly guess the location of an agent, then one of the agent tokens gets placed on that word and removes it from the game. If, however, they choose a location corresponding to a bystander, then one of the bystander tokens gets placed face down and the turn is immediately over. If they happen to choose a space with an assassin on it, then the players immediately lose the game. The guesser may also voluntarily end their turn at any point and take one of the timer tokens. When they do this, it is then their turn to give a clue to their partner, and so on. The goal of the players is to correctly locate all 15 of the agents before they've either exhausted all of the timer tokens or they hit one of the assassins. So, how will we do today? Let's find out. All right, so. We should get started. <laughs> yeah. Before we do that, we should also let people know who we are if they're new to the channel. You are... I'm D. D, yeah! I can't remember your name. Oh, Sorry about that. It's a long one. Well, there's a lot of words out here. and um, mm -hmm. You yeah. are? I am Will. William. William the Spy. Code name. Uh-huh. What's your code name? My code name is Triple X L. <laughs> That's yeah. not bad, actually. That's no, fair enough. <laughs> What's yours? Uh, double O-D. Double O-D. <laughs> so I'm going to just draw one at random. So I don't see your side and you don't see mine. I'm doing it like this. Mm -hmm. Here, I'll put it in. No, I'm putting it in. Fine, I'll put it in. Eh. No innuendo here. Chris. All right, so you shouldn't be able to see mine. Nope. It's code names. We haven't played code names on the channel, so I kind of explained the game, you know, in depth. In my introduction. Pretty easy. You much give clues. Yeah, we're just giving clues. Uh, one word clues. Uh, proper names are okay, but you can only give one name. Or so, or like, the, the rule book does say you can agree to use like titles if you want, mm -hmm. but I, I think we should avoid that. Let's play pure code names, all right? But, so no proper nouns? You need proper nouns, just only one word. So you can't do like Abraham Lincoln, but you can do Lincoln. Lincoln, got it. Abraham. I get it, D. So let me study my words, you study yours. But yes. It's, it's so each thing. side of, of our thing shows nine locations of mm -hmm. agents. There are 15 in total, so three of them overlap. And when mm -hmm. either one of us can go first, it's just whenever one of us is ready. All right, Will. Yeah. First clue of the game. Let's do it. Going nuts. What is it, D? Wooden. Four. <laughs> Wooden for four. Yeah. Wooden. It's a big number. Wooden, as in... W O O D E N. Yes. Of wood. Made of wood. Wooden. Mm hmm. Can I buy a vowel, please? You may not. Because wooden can also mean like stiff. Like he gave a wooden performance in the film. I'm not allowed to help you at all. We're supposed to actually not communicate verbally as much as possible. It's a movie. Movie. It's not a movie. It's a video. I think the audience will give us a pass if we communicate. Just don't give me clues. I refuse to talk to you. I don't see anyone here that I would say are wooden. I mean, there are things on here that could be wooden. Oof, wooden. Come on, Will. Sleds can be wooden. Don't nod. Don't even make reactions. Um, All of these things could be wooden. I'm sure there are such things as wooden tin. Should someone choose a to carve it. that is wooden. 
Um, okay, my first guess mm -hmm. is going to be Shed. Shed is correct. So we're putting down, it looks like Ethan Hunt. And oh, he yeah. goes next. If you, you can stop. No. Okay. <laughs> you can keep going. I'm trying to think, is there such thing as wooden foam? Now, is jumper as like a jumper as in like a jumpsuit or a sweater? Or is it the Hayden Christensen hit movie jumper with Jamie Bell and Samuel L. Jackson? I, I know I, much I assume it's talking about the Third Eye Blind song, so. See, see that's the, the, how are we supposed to know? Yeah. Spoon? Spoon is correct. Okay, because wooden spoons are definitely a thing. Who's that? That is Charlize Theron in, on, in Eon Flux. Really? No. <laughs> I don't know oh. who that is. I mean, all these seem to like correspond with like fictional... I was going to say maybe like Sydney Bristow, is that her name? From Alias? I'm not sure who it's it Ethan is. Hunt. Okay, oh, it's Ethan so, Hunt again. Yeah, okay. Mission Impossible 2, Ethan Hunt. Was... A cuckoo is usually wooden. Maracas are usually wooden. I'm going to keep going, dude. Okay. I'm going to say Sled. Sled is correct. That is, that's got to be Lara Croft, right? It looks like Lara Croft. That looks like Angelina Jolie See? as Lara Croft. See? To keep going will be reckless. All right, fine. But I feel like you and I, we have this legendary rapport. Legendary. We talked about it last week on Emo Tet the Duel. Did we? Uh, I'm going to keep going. Okay. I'm going to say that your last clue, your last one from Wooden, was Maracas. Maracas is correct. Oh, yes. Now, you, don't, you can't tell me if that was from Wooden, but... No, I cannot. I am also going that to... That is four. I am going to stop okay. at four. I mean, you can that, that was a productive turn, I feel like. I'll put that... Yeah, it was. Uh, I'll put that maybe like... I'm the best at this game. That actually looks more like Charlize Theron from the hit film <laughs> Ion or Eon Flux. I don't know how you pronounce Could it. Could be. Um, <laughs> uh, let's continue on. Your turn, Will. Give me a clue. Oh, I've five. cleared the board, more or less. Easy for you now. Am I allowed to say just the words? Nope. Okay. Mm. I'm waiting. Our spies will die. Get to the sand timer. I'm gonna say lavender two. Lavender. Lavender. You know what lavender is? Yes. Fragrance. Can be a fragrance, yeah. A plant. Sure. <laughs> I'm gonna say violet. Yes. So Agent 47, go in there. Is that Agent 47? I'm saying that is Xavier. From X Men, he's not a spy though. So, oh, Blade is next. Blade, that's clearly Will Smith from Men in Black. Uh, pfft. no, like Agent J. That's clearly Samuel Jackson from Triple X. You're just way off. All right, I think you're a little obsessed with this Triple X thing now. Are you gonna pass me and keep going? Lavender? Yeah. I I mean, <laughs> soap. Yep. Okay. Agent J goes there. Then I will end the turn. Okay. My turn again. So is this what spies do? Mm -hmm. They just sit around and say stuff and numbers to each other. Words Lavender. Two. <laughs> they... <laughs> Roof. Three. Ooh. Roof? Roof. Roof? No. I'm not going to dignify your... Folksy pronunciation. Roof. Okay, so we got roof for three. Three. Ranches can have roofs. Roofs. I mean... Roofs. I know a tin roof is you a said thing. said it wrong twice. Right? Don't say yes. Uh, a, a roof can be flat. Yellowstone does not have a roof. Not to my knowledge. <laughs> that might have added one. You've really hurt me with this. You said three of these words here apply to the word roof. In theory. Stop saying roof. I, I, I say roof in real life. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm doing this. Because you're a bad person. I'm, I'm having a hard time seeing one that I'm like, I, I think tin roof is a thing. So I'm going to go with tin. Tin is a correct word. There you go, Tom. All right. <sighs> I'm overthinking this, aren't I? If you know what, for how many, how many of these do we have? We have a lot. I'm going to pass for now. I'll just keep it in okay. mind. Roof for three. Will has passed. He can still reference that clue for future guesses, but now it's his turn. Right. Hopefully you've been thinking. <laughs> no, because I was thinking about yours. My clue mm -hmm. 
<laughs> is Leguizamo 2. That is L E G U I Z A M O, Leguizamo mm -hmm. 2. Okay. Ice Age. Yeah? Okay, good. I was a little worried there, because for me, that space is an assassin. So that's fun. Oh, I guess you can tell me that now that it's covered. Yeah, okay. Might as well. I mean, we have different sides, Steve. Yeah. This has been established. Yeah. So, okay. So that's two, though. Another Leguizamo. What do I know about John Leguizamo? Uh, the man has hair. Yes. He's probably eaten pizza. He has a memory. He has, probably has worn pockets. Does he own Yellowstone? <sighs> It'd be crazy if we found out that John Leguizamo owned Yellowstone. I'm gonna take a guess here, Will. And if it's wrong, that's on you. I'm gonna guess Squirrel. That is correct. All right, I think we should just clarify something real quick. John Leguizamo did not voice the Squirrel in Ice Age. No, he didn't. But there is a Squirrel in Ice Age. In the shorts, I believe he like was before the it. sloth. Was slow. Was he? Oh yeah. Are you done? I'm done. I don't care if you're done. So, Will, you still got potentially two left. Let me take a take the dog. You have two left still from roof. Ten. I could have two. You cannot say one way or another. If I do. Well, you got you guessed once. You're trying to give me a clue. Mm-hmm. So why don't you stop talking? Let's start talking. My clue is cable. Two. Cable? Mm-hmm. What does he mean by cable? Because you mean like television cable, like the television show Yellowstone is on cable. Uh, does he mean cable as in it is a cable? D, I'm gonna go jumper. That is correct. For jumper cable. I'm doing wants to say yes or no. Who's that? I don't know. The the model. Grace name. Jones? It's Grace Jones. It's not Grace Jones. Pocket cable. No. Memory cable. Possibly. I don't think the audience needs you to say every word with cable after it. You also said roof earlier. And I didn't. I never once <laughs> said that. Sling is how you get cable television. It's like a device that you can use to stream cable television. Is that what he's thinking? Sling. Like the sling service. You know what? You only, went li you only live once. I'm going to get sling. Yep. Okay. You done or you want to keep going? I still have roof, don't I? Nope. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna stop. Okay. You're up then, Will. Only you four left. Well, you can grab it yourself. We got four times. So, I mean, we really, we can just go one Is at a time. Is that Stathan Jason? Yeah. I would assume so. This is pressure. Just go one at a time. This is very pressure, guy. We just win the game one at a time. No, we're not going to win one at a time. Because that's not the game. I want there to be left over so we get extra points. That's not how, that's not how it works. I want there to be extra points. Not at all how it works. My clue is dressing one. Ranch. That's an assassin. I'm sorry. Okay. No. It's, yeah, you got it. It wasn't an assassin. You nailed it. How did you get that, though? What? <sighs> What are you in the mood for now? What, what are you going to tell me about? Are you, you passing? Yes. So take it. Take it. I want that one. Fine, I'll take it. I'm with a snow man. All right. Ready, Will? Yeah. Clock. One. Clock? Yeah. <laughs> I just blow it here. Can I get a cuckoo? A cuckoo. You can. A cuckoo. So Who's that? I'm going to say it's Peter Graves. From Mission Impossible? Yeah, but like old Peter Graves <laughs> for some reason. You know, his character was John Voight's character. In yes, the movie, I, I, I and that know. really annoyed a lot of people because, yes. spoiler alert, Rightfully the movie so. he played the villain, and that movie came out in '96, so it's not really spoilers, but it could be, I guess, for someone. Who's that? Charlie Theron and <laughs> in the Unflux. <laughs> um, uh, are, you, are you done? You still have, I believe, uh, an unused, an unfinished clue out there, but you done? I'm done. Yeah, this guy. I'm not sure about any of those. Your clue is. Mm -hmm. Clear. Two. Clear. Clear? Clear. Glasses? Yep. 
Now you can pass if you don't want to keep going. If you don't want to ruin it for us. Will he get it? Uh, the game is on the line. His life is on the line too. I mean, I'm pretty sure I know which one it is, but I'm, I don't want to, I'm not going to, I'm going to pass. Uh, so, well, it's my last clue. Yeah. Apartment. One. Seriously? D? Yes. Flat. Correct! Which I didn't know you had as one of my roof clues. Roof but... clues? Yeah. Um, what was clear? Memory. Okay. Clear memory. See, that was just a, a, a pedestrian or a bystander for me. It wasn't anything, so I wasn't... You want to guess what my assassins were, guy? Nope. You're, my, uh, my assassins were pizza, comb, and then flat. Oh, really? Yes. Interesting. Well, Will, we beat it. Oh, yeah. We won the game. Yeah. Should we, uh... <laughs> Adios. Yeah, okay, that's great. That's great. Do we want to do the other side? We did it. Cards? Do you want to play another, another round, or are we going to call it? I think that's good. All right, I had fine. 33 minutes. All right, fine. But we can always come back and do this again. That another is time. true. Well, there is a, a mission sort of thing you can play in this game where uh, we start with this basic difficulty, which you've now cleared, and you can go to different cities around the world that have different difficulties you can uh, play at. So you try yeah. to clear the whole map. Indeed. So that's cool. Oh. Take the crown. I feel like I played better, um, so I should probably get it. I don't know. The audience can decide. Who did you think played better? Me. Leave the clues in the comments. The clues. The com. Leave your opinions in the w -D. comments. Uh, yeah, he, oh, WOD. Oh, is a really good license name. License to kill. Triple XL. License to eat. Thanks for watching this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed it, you uh, can. Not a single pedestrian came out. No, we really did well. Why don't you keep going with the call to action? I'll just keep cutting you yeah, off. I'm glad you did that. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, share, notifications. There you go. Boom. That was efficient. One word each, because yeah. I'm, I'm in a mode now. We probably could have done that in fewer clues, actually. Now that I think about it. If you would have just guessed flat for roof. Most roofs aren't flat. You don't want anything to sit yeah, up there. Yeah, well, so. well, well, it wasn't going to be comb. Uh, you can check out our social media, our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. are all uh, linked to in the description below if you want to follow us on those as well. Keep uh, abreast of our goings on. You can come back next Wednesday as well for our review of Codenames Duet, um, where I'm sure we'll have a few things to yeah, say. Yeah, maybe some. Uh, yeah, and then uh, hopefully Graham will be back soon uh, for the review. Maybe the next video if we're lucky. If we're lucky. Fingers crossed. If we're lucky, if the we're police lucky. will have released him by mm -hmm. then. Yes, but until then, thank you for watching, everybody. Yes. Um, have a good one. Thank you, and goodbye. Actually, see you next time. Goodbye's too permanent. This video will self-destruct in five seconds. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> It'll be enough!